Okay, everyone. We are going to look at playing a low down blues in the key of F. I'm going to really focus on learning a melody. I'm going to have two variations of this melody, one a more simple one and one a little, a little uh, more complicated, I guess. And the first thing I want you to do is hear it. So here we go. So that is our pattern. So first thing we're gonna do is look at that left hand and look at that feel. So we're gonna play, when we play our F chord, our one chord, we're gonna play our the fifths. We're gonna bounce off one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. When we move to the B flat, it's gonna be the same thing. We're gonna play, this is our four chord here. We're gonna play the fifths and bounce off third. important to know that we're not going it's not rock and roll it really needs that steady four four beat feel and even if anything that one and three's got a little more juice and then sometimes what's happening here so we're going from this position my second finger is going to go on this G and then it's going to open up to this octave Sometimes we do that little quick five, but the rest of the time we'll just normal blues. I'm gonna really, uh, I'm gonna really drag that one, two, those, those ands, you know, it's not one. It really sticks in. So that's what the left hand is doing. Our right hand, in this song, we are only gonna use four notes play this whole thing both both melodies we're going to play our one we're going to play our third which we're going to slide off of you're going to have to practice your slides if you need to this song also use slides both off the second finger and the third finger it's really important to be able to slide with both fingers and uh, you'll have to build up that strength and you can we're also going to play the b flat the four and the five c so these are our notes Sometimes we'll go up here or down here, but this is all we're playing. It doesn't get any more low down than that. So let's look at what the right hand is doing. It's a, it's a pattern that will repeat itself a couple times. It comes in on the and upbeat. So it's C. I guess you should start with your fourth finger to get this nice little, use every finger. what we're playing. Down, up, up, down, up. And then the second front time, it's going to sort of repeat it, uh, going to kind of answer itself. It's going to go up, up, down. So the line is Both times that F lands on an upbeat. 
and that's going to be one of the tricky parts of this once we put it with the left hand, but we'll get there. So it does that, and there's a little answer. So we went. We're going to come down. It comes in one, two, and three, and and that lands at the end of four again so that's the tricky thing so that same pattern will happen twice first over the one four one five one and then it'll happen again over the four and the one five one so then the very last time when we play over the five chord we'll go we'll do a little bit of variation Gonna come all the way up here. One, five, four, five, one. Up and down, up, down. Then again. So that'll happen three times. It'll happen three times. Okay, so those are the notes, but the tricky part's obviously gonna be putting the two hands together. So sometimes if you get get a little four beat, three, four, and one. So they happen together and together. Again. So you're gonna have to work on that. Quickly to the four. So again, it's that's one of the trickier parts of this. Finishes, but it's on the end, it's on the upbeat, but but you're playing both hands up. It's gonna happen again. We have it here. really the, the timing of the whole thing time is not going to be any different over the four chord it's That should give you plenty of trickiness to work with. Now let's look at the second chorus. Second chorus, the only slight difference we're gonna do with our left hand is we're not gonna do those quick five moves down here. We're gonna, once we're on the one, we're gonna stay there, you know, until we get to our five chord. So we don't have to worry about that aspect of it. Now, what we do have to worry about is a different kind of feel. So now we're gonna really be getting that triplet feel. That's going to be the pulse that really drives this whole thing. Da, 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 da. And one, two, three. And on that three, when we have that little, when we have that, it's going to really land on that on the th third beat of those triplets. So it's going to it really creates that swung feel effect, like we're like dragging and playing these triplets. That's really an important part about the blues. That's why these two choruses are going to be good practice for that. And again, same notes, we're using these same notes. One, three. But we're going to use it, we're going to work at it from three different positions. It's going to be the important thing of how we sort of move through these, th this passage. So we're going to start up here, then it's going to move down to this position, and then it's going to end here. So we're going to work from here, here, here. 
And if you watch me play the blues, if you watch any of my videos, you can see I'm pretty much always finding these positions to, to work my way from. Okay, then getting back to this song. So again, this is going to work the same way in that we have we have a, like a, a call and response type type um, of melody. That's how this one starts. Do and triple it. So here's the tricky part here is, I've been, I've been thinking about it all week, is how I want to finger this, how best to show you how to finger this. So my natural way, because I want to stay in this position, is use my second finger and then use my second finger again. You could bring your thumb here, which allows you to get your third second. I think those are really the main ways you want to do it, but I think if you can work on strengthening that second finger, moving it around, you'll be you'll be stronger for it. But anyway, we'll be fine. But the, so the first time is one, triple it, one. and then the response is here's sort of this longer line and triple it. So it starts the same way and triple it. But now it keeps going triple it, triple it, one again. So we're here. That's why we want our third finger. It's kind of, as I say, we're going to slide with our third finger because we're going to play, we're going to work down the F chord this way. We're going to cross over with our thumb. Three, one, two, one, triple it, one, triple it, one. So the whole pattern is. Is going to repeat itself again for the over the B flat chord, and uh, and then for the C chord we'll do a very slight variation, sort of closer to what we did in the beginning, the first verse. So very familiar. Okay, so then now we're going to try to put these two together. It's going to be it's going to take some time, but that's time we got. All this stuff takes time. So it comes in on the end, two, and then the two is where you triple it. And triple it. Again. So again, triple it. That's where our third one hits. Two, three, the triplets is when our middle finger is going to be hitting on those. I don't know. I don't actually don't move to the quick four here. I just stay here on the one. The song doesn't have to always go to the four or nine. It's kind of how the melody, how you want the melody to go. Unless you're playing with other people, it's best to have it worked out more. But solo, you can do whatever you want. First time I play a different note, I add my E flat so I can get a seventh chord, an F an F seven chord, which really helps you propel you to the four chord. So it's got to be on an upbeat. We do the same thing over the four chord. So 
again, the trickiest part is going to be getting that timing. And, and two up a lit, and tip a lit, trip a lit, one. Keeping it going so that you get those, those in the right place. is the song those are the melodies and that's how you do it now there is room for improvisation once you start to get comfortable there is a little space in between for you to do little uh little response lines so i'm going to do just a quick demonstration of it i'm not going to go into detail because you can find your own things but again you can use these sort of same notes i might bring in a, a, a tritone here or there i don't know but but just to give you an idea of what it might sound like it's Still using that same sort of triplet feel. Triplet, triplet, triplet. That's my spiel. That's my little demonstration for this. I'm going to shoot another video where I show you just how I would play this song, just messing around with this one little melody. Melody is really how you have to derive your blues from. So, so I'm going to show you kind of how I would play a song based on this, and you can find the link below to that video. Thanks for listening.